boy, what the hell, boy? Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and I'm joined by Muffins, who is a former player on Complexity, Fanatic, our fourth man on Oxygen Esports currently, and best of all, my roommate throughout ALGS weekend. And today we're actually gonna be talking about how the meta is going to be shifting in the near future. His Watson has some complaints about the digital threat, and there's some visual clutter going on in the game, and it could be very interesting on what Respawn does going forward with that. We're also gonna give out 45 bucks. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So if there's one conflict that will always be around in Apex Legends, it's basically how the pros and the general community have some disagreements sometimes on what needs to be changed. However, if we look at the ALGS from the other day and you see all these different catwalls and the Bangalore smoke in the back, your first assumption is probably that they're trying to summon Cthulhu or some kind of mystical creature, but nope, this is just all the visual clutter that is going on in the game now with the new catalyst walls and the smoke. And visual clutter has always been an issue in Apex Legends, but now it seems that it might be going just a little bit too far. However, one of the solutions proposed by his Watson is actually the fact that they want the digi threat removed next from the game or at least they think it should be modified to be played in a different way he did also come up with an idea to fix it he wanted to add a laser similar to the vantage ult when aiming down sight and the digital threat can be toggled on and off similar to the one to two that will add more counterplay to their initial spray and while i do understand this because the digital threat is kind of overpowered right now you can basically sit and bang smoke and see an enemy and shoot them and not have to worry about getting hit at all because it's just so visually striking however i will say that the digital threat is a legendary item it's supposed to be hard to find although you can craft it some days and that's kind of the purpose of a legendary weapon this has been a common theme with apex legends and things getting removed from the game i'm sure many of you remember that we used to have gold knockdowns that pros called for it to be actually be removed from the game completely and this had a strong proponent of pvp in it who's a former coach of c9 and also dark zero he basically said change self res so if your team is all down in rank you are out of the game the item is so uncompetitive and he's not wrong and the devs did actually go ahead and change how the gold knockdown works it basically now allows you to pick up your teammate with a little bit more health and the self res mechanic is completely gone and while i do agree that it is not a good item for ranked it was actually pretty fun in pubs and made for some crazy end games or clutches that you could pull off there was once a time where the kraber was more powerful than it currently was but some pros along with some content creators did explicitly say that they really hated the item and respawn developers did respond and eventually the kraber did get a little bit of a nerf it's still a powerhouse but we even had something even more recent than all of this and that's even the charge rifle which players were complaining about last season and as we all saw we had the brand new charge rifle but you have zero saying the charge rifle needs to go into the care package gun is ridiculously unfun and way too rewarding for how low skill it is and imperial hall agreed saying you don't like getting shot from 200 meters away while having to calculate a 3v3 just don't get shot lol and they're both right the charge rifle in its former state was absolutely horrible but i don't think that's really the point of the issue because as some people have pointed out pros play a ton of hours on the game and they are able to do things that the general player base just cannot in a game where the importance of your skills and gun outweigh the importance of your skill with legend abilities is influencing pick rates and dictating the meta that people see that pro players do actually always creates a situation where an actual meta probably will never be able to be established if anything i think a good idea or a good concept would be to have different items work differently in ranked and then a regular trios and duos playlist you could have some fun throwbacks to the original items having a gold knockdown come back the way it was or even having a charge rifle appear once every now and then in a limited time mode would be something that would be very fun for the player base maybe like a throwback apex legends day and i think this will be a continuing trend that we see going on in the game in the future in regards to buffs and nerfs imperial howl and a lot of other pro players have explicitly stated that they think controller aim assist should be nerfed in apex legends and lo and behold once again devs have actually stated that they are looking to go ahead and actually nerf aim assist in the near future whether or not that's going to be the 0.4 aim assist is unknown at the time as they have said it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that but i do think that it is important to have a ranked comp integrity with the item play and then also have a pubs playlist where it can be a lot more casual in these kind of fun situations where someone gets a gold knockdown self revival at the last couple of seconds could be really fun for just the general players it'll be interesting to see because ea ceo did actually just say the other day that they are going to be doubling down and reallocating a lot of investment towards five or six global massive franchises including apex legends which means that the algs pro scene is actually going to be growing in the next year and that they're going to be trying to put a lot more into it which could mean that they are going to continue to try to make the pro player base very happy which could once again continue dictating the meta for the rest of us let me know down below guys what kind of meta changes would you like to be seen in the game going in the future and do you think that ranked and pubs having different items would be good also don't forget to check out this channel by my editor novel who does amazing apex legends content until next time legends keep singing the outlands and we'll see you out there <laughs>